Hello friends, myself Chirag Balodia. Today I am going to teach you mesh topology in computer network. Definition of network topology, physical or logical layout of structure called topology in which all nodes are connected with each other. Another definition, network topology is the arrangement of the elements. Elements means PC or workstation of a communication network. Uh, types of topology, so bus topology, star topology, ring, mass and tree topology. Today I am going to teach you mass topology. Bus topology, star topology and ring topology videos are already shared in my YouTube channel. So mesh topology is divided into main two categories. First one is fully connected mesh topology. Second one is partially connected mesh topology. Structure of fully connected mesh topology you can see over here. Uh, all the pieces connected with each other. So it is called fully connected mesh topology. So in a fully mesh to a full mesh topology, every computer in the network has a connection to each of the other computer in that network. See over here, as per the first point, you can see over here, all the pieces are connected with each other. So now the calculation of connection, the number of connection in this network can be calculated using the equation n by 2 n minus 1. It means uh, if n equal to 5, so there is 5 computers, so uh, there is connection is 10. You can see over here. There is 5 computers, so as per the given equation, uh, connection is 10. A mesh topology in a network in which all network nodes are individually connected the most of other nodes. There is not a concept of central switch, hub or computer. So all PCs connected with a dedicated line. There is no central device are required. Most mesh topology networks are not true mesh because uh, practically if you think about mesh topology, you cannot create a mesh topology. So next one. A structure of partially connected mesh topology in this uh, at least one or two pc connected with other pieces in a uh, like a fully mesh connected topologies uh, see over here uh, here one two three four pieces connected but at least one or two pieces must be required so this one is partially because this pc is not connected with each other this pc is dedicated to uh, dedicated link with this pc and this pc so in a partially connected mesh topology, at least one or two of the computers in a network have connection to multiple other computers in that network. So partially connected mesh topology is less expensive in compared to fully connected mesh topology. In the event that one of the primary computers or connections in the network fails, the rest of the network continues to operate normally. So uh, whole network will not be down. Also, there is no any central device like a hub or switch in partially connected mesh topology. So you can see over here differentiate both. The, this is fully mesh. This is partially mesh. So this uh, this is connected with all the nodes. So, so you can see over here. This is the fully mesh animation of fully mesh. Now, advantage and disadvantage. Advantage: A fault is diagnosed easily in mass topology uh, because dedicated link is there. Failure link cannot stop data transmission from sender to receiver. If any link is dedicated link is break, then uh, sender to destination data will be uh, transmitted by another link. Data transmission speed is too high. Now. The disadvantages building and maintaining the topology is difficult and time consuming uh, second one cost of very high in compared to other topologies because uh, more number of cables required so cable cost is very high uh, more difficult to install as the number of devices increase if number of devices increased and if you want to uh, create a fully mesh then it is not possible but partially mesh is also uh, more difficult most of bandwidth are wasted uh, in mesh topology Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel on YouTube Chirag Palodia. Please uh, press bell icon for new video.